Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. You know what tomorrow is, don't you? Friday. September 1st. Oh, that yeah. too. <laughs> I'm always happy when it's Friday. It's starting to feel like fall, but it's only going to feel like fall for, what, the next couple of hours? A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, it feels like you got to change the oil in that old snowblower of yours. But uh, it's not going to last that long. It's going to be so, you know, swimsuit weather here before long for early next week. Don't put that lawnmower no. away. No, please find a way to enjoy the, the warmth that's on the way in because we haven't had a stretch like this for a lot of the summer. Not right now, not tonight. This is just a, a preview of things to come. But 48 out in Gabriel's New York. Tupper Lake is down to 50. Actually, a lot of spots near 50. Cabot's at 48. Uh, as an example right now. And as we take a look at the dew points, this is key because this tells us exactly how dry the air is. So the blue shading always means it's comfortable, but it means that there can be a big range between the daytime high and the overnight low. And that range is certainly happening tonight into tomorrow afternoon. Now, the only slight comp uh, uh, complication I'm trying to say for tomorrow is that gross smoke comes back. Now it's not at the ground. There are different kinds of smoke. Sometimes it's just up above. Sometimes it's also at the ground. This is just a very high level smoke tomorrow. So even though it looks like the, <laughs> the end of things when you look at this map, it is just going to create kind of a, a grayish tint to the sky. And I think the air quality will be just fine at the ground, but wow. I think it's going to look real weird, especially tomorrow late and then Saturday early before it gets out of here. It does leave for the most part as we go through the day Saturday. But Storm Tracker doesn't have any rain or clouds to track here or across the eastern seaboard right now. So nice and dry on Merchants Row in Rutland. Light jacket weather 52 already. So we'll be in the upper 40s likely here for a little bit of the night. We've got the sun all day tomorrow. Again, it's not really a pristine blue sky at all tomorrow, but at least it's dry and comfortable and a little bit warmer. And then as we get into Saturday, we bring in some more clouds, especially in the afternoon. There may be a light little sprinkle, but the air seems like it will be very dry. So even though you see a little speck of green here, I wouldn't be concerned about it. it it's not going to be a thunderstorm. I think at most it would be a light shower and then it zips along to the east and Sunday we're back to sun and that sun sticks around for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a lot of days in a row there. So other than the haziness, it is a beautiful one on Lake Champlain tomorrow. Waves of one foot or less because there's not much wind. <laughs> water temperature down to 69. It's hard to keep the temperature of the water up when you have cool nights like this. So we lose a little bit of ground, if you will, on the water temp department, but I think next week it'll warm up quite a bit because the heat wave is likely. Some spots of western New York could actually be 95 or 98 early next week. I think for us, it's more like low 90s, 90 on Monday, 91, and then culminating with a 92 by the time Wednesday rolls around. So this night is chilly with the clear sky and then the haziness tomorrow, otherwise dry with mid 70s for most 75 or so in South Hero, 77 for Burlington and down the road closer to 80 in Brattleboro. But on the five day forecast, we've got that real nice warm up 80s for the weekend, low 90s for three days at least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, most likely the heat wave. And then there's likely a front in there somewhere late next week, probably Thursday at this point, and that would be thunderstorms bringing an end to the heat and humidity because that's the other part about this forecast. It's very humid Sunday through at least Wednesday of next week. So four days of high heat and humidity in a row in early September. Brian, Alice.